What's going on guys? Geosnow right here. So in today's video I have some great news about Pango Team in iOS 10.3.1 jailbreak. It has been demoed at a conference in China and we have some photos from inside the conference posted by this guy in here on a um, uh, Chinese social network by the looks of it. And uh, this is one of the photos that has um, has gone over the world in the last couple of hours. And you can see in here it's a photo in which we have uh, um, iPhone 7 iOS 10.3.1 being jailbroken using a Pango utility and apparently this guy in here on the stage is a Pango individual. Also he posted a couple of tickets to that conference which is uh, by the name of it is Janice and I have tracked it down to this um, blog post in here from pangu.io from pangu team and it's apparently a mobile security conference it looks like a part of black hat asia and um, yeah it's focused on the uh, security on the security content as well you can see in here the entire setup the entire stage but the most important picture is this one uh, actually showing an iOS 10.3.1 jailbreak. Also, uh, a guy on Twitter has posted this guy in here that is apparently a reliable source. I, I can't confirm that, but somebody posted on Reddit jailbreak that he's a reliable source and posted in Chinese the following thing, which was translated using Google Translate to be, quote, spoiler alert, is going to be a little bit gibberish. We are working with PP, 25PP in this case, their partner, Pangu's partner, we're working with a PP assistant company. If we agreed, within a week issued 10.3, 10.3.1 jailbreak. Now, a better translation of this would be, um, we're working with the 25PP uh, assistant company and um, if the ne negotiations are going well, uh, the um, iOS 10.3 to 10.3.1 jailbreak will be issued within a week. Now, if this is real and uh, if this guy in here is not bullshitting, this is going to be terrific. For the moment, do not upgrade. Um, I posted this picture is on uh, Twitter a couple of hours ago when uh, this thing sparked and uh, a lot of you have asked me uh, whether you should update from 10.2 or 10.2.1 or 10.3 to 10.3.1. Do not do that for the moment. We do not know for sure whether they're, go they're going to uh, release it. It's of course real. I mean, this guy in here who posted the picture is, is actually a known and trusted security researcher and uh, you can clearly see it's... Um, yeah, part of the black hat, but uh, we do not know if they're going to actually release it and we do not know whether it's going to be for 32-bit or 64-bit, so do not update for the moment. I'm going to tell you when you should update on the channel, so make sure you subscribe in here. Click the subscribe button and when you subscribe there is a bell. Click that bell and enable notifications, do the same on the mobile so that you will know exactly when something happens so that you do not miss the chance. Anyways, iOS 10.3.1 is signed currently and iOS 10.3.2 is in beta 4 from what I know. And uh, this means that Apple cannot close iOS 10.3.1 yet. They have to first release iOS 10.3.2 out of the beta, wait a couple of weeks, uh, two weeks or so because they have to wait in order for people to actually be able to switch in case of problems and after that they can close iOS 10.3.1 which will they do because as you can see Pangu is back, Pangu has this chill break and of course iOS 10.3.1 will be closed. What I actually said on my Twitter today was save your iOS 10.3.1 and 10.3 blobs. Also worth being mentioned is the fact that this jailbreak is for iPhone 7 uh, as it was demoed in here. Well, if it works on the iPhone 7, I'm pretty sure it works. Uh, it has backwards compatibility as well because the uh, hard side was to make a, an iPhone 7 jailbreak, not to make an iPhone 7 jailbreak to work on uh, other devices. The iPhone 7 has some security uh, measures that are new and that are not present on the other devices. So it would be easier for Pangu to jailbreak the rest of them. Anyways, as you can see, it's iOS 10.3.1, iPhone 7, which definitely means 64-bit for the moment. I do not think, to be uh, brutally honest with you, that there will be any 32-bit jailbreak. But anyways, uh, Pango Team's uh, Weibo uh, account in here is this one, and it's apparently official. But for the moment on their website, you can see there is no new activity, probably because, yeah, they didn't release anything yet. Anyways, if you want to learn more about this conference, by the way, this is a Google Translate version. The original is in complete Chinese, so yeah. You can go ahead in there. I'm going to link this post from uh, from this guy in here. I'm pretty sure his name is not Steamed Rice. Anyways, 
Till the next time, do not forget, stay updated by subscribing. I'm going to keep you updated whether Pango releases something or not. But for the moment, there is a new hope. iOS 10.2.1 got jailbroken by Pango today. Keep in mind, subscribe, stay updated, give this video a thumb up and peace out.